uh, independent uh, PEGA mission for, from the left party from 24 to 27th October. We had been in Madrid and, Pas uh, and Barcelona and we were hearing uh, like more than a dozen uh, testimonies from politicians, from uh, civil society, from lawyers, so both victims and uh, groups, uh, organizations uh, researching it. So what we found out, the scale of this affair is shaking the foundations of democracy in Europe. So the sheer amount is incredible, like uh, 65 people at least were targeted by both Pegasus and Chandiru. Victims were politicians, lawyers, journalists, political parties, also members of the European Parliament, members of civil society organizations, and in many cases, their family members or partners were also infected with the malware. In uh, Spain, our uh, testimonies called this off-center targeting or relational targeting. Some of the people attacked were temporarily or permanently outside the Spanish state at the time of the attack. For example, this happened in France, Belgium, Switzerland, or in Germany. For example, Karl Puigdemont's phone was attacked when he was arrested in Germany, probably by the Spanish Policia Nacional in 2018. A new phone that he was using on German territory was also hacked. If there was no consent from the German government, this was an illegal spying. The Spanish national government is obstructing any clarification on this biggest European sky, uh, spy scandal. Our requests for meetings with different ministries were either refused or even not answered. The Minister of Interior, for example, told us to just check the facts on the website. This is a clear disregard for parliamentary uh, scrutiny. Many testimonies also raised doubt, doubts about the independence of the judiciary. A control of the spyware in Parliament is also proving impossible. The government keeps important details secret using the so-called secret law, Ley de Secreto in Spanish. It is based on a law from 1968 and thus dates from the Franco era. We heard, to conclude this, that the 65 known Pegasus victims and Chandiru victims are only the tip of the iceberg. Many more people are affected, even abroad. These victims showed an extraordinary uh, need to speak out. Their demands are for justice, legal accountability, transparency, and compensation. So this is a very brief summary.